today we're talking St. Patrick's Day. And you know what they say, the holiday brings out the Irish in everyone, even me. Especially if it means I get to indulge in some rich and hearty St. Patty's Day cuisine. The traditional St. Patrick's Day feast, for a lot of people, it's Irish stew. Irish stew today, yeah. So what is that made of? Real traditional one was very, very basic, and that was basically done with just onions, parsley, mutton or lamb. So that's it, just those three? And potato. And a potato, of course. This one is a few additions more than a traditional Irish stew, because we had turnip, we had parsnip, mm -hmm. carrots, and leeks. It's just the style of cooking they have over there. Everything was slow and long cooked or whatever, uh -huh. so. Meat wasn't a, a thing that would be ready or available to a lot of people. Uh -huh. If you could afford meat, you could afford more taxes, and that's what the, the tax collectors thought. Ah. So. so when the tax man comes, if he smells... If he smells meat, ah. you can afford more taxes. So how do you cover up the smell of the meat? They buried everything underneath the cabbage, and uh -huh. the smell of that killed any smell of meat. With this one, I suppose it's the vegetable that'll hide it. All right, well, I'll help you out here. I'll help you cook. You can do the peeling then. Okay. Onions. Onions weren't introduced to Ireland until the ancient Romans came. Well, I have to say it was a good ingredient to bring. Now, is this, this is lamb, right? This is lamb, yeah. That's a blend of salt, white pepper, and black pepper. Oh, okay. Here. So what, what do we, what's in here now? This is just the uh, onions and leeks next. Get okay. the aromat on it and oh, okay. with the meat. Now, what, what kind of herbs do we have here? Rosemary, bay leaf, and fresh thyme. Just pour that That's in. That's lamb stock. Lamb stock, yeah. Now we're going to bring this to the boil mm -hmm. and simmer it after that. And then we're going to add potato right near the end. The history of the potato is interesting. It's a new world vegetable. The Incas cultivated it in South America. It didn't come to Ireland. I can't imagine Ireland without potatoes, but there was for thousands of years in Ireland without potatoes. Sir Walter Raleigh brought it in the 16th century. And before that, the Irish thought that the potato was poisonous. Wouldn't eat it. Wouldn't eat it. So that's changed somewhere along the line. What would be a good dessert that would go with this? Good Irish solid dessert? Or fill this fat belly? Baked apple. A baked apple? Baked apple with custard. <sighs> it smells good. Mmm. Ooh, it's hot. I love it. You could taste the whole history of Ireland right there. Potatoes, all the herbs, the lamb. Happy St. Patty's Day. Salantis. Happy St. Patty's Day to you too. That's holiday foods, Irish stew.